And we return to milk. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> so you're finally going to find out what, what milk is. You know, I guarantee whatever you thought, whatever you think it is, you are absolutely 100% correct. I don't get this scene at all. I, what, what is it with putting these two together in scenes? At least he's 18. You're quite the real man. He seems to be actually hitting on him. Thank you, but <laughs> he told me the background. And Mila. Kind of me oh, he fancies her. That's adorable. Oh, hey, by the way, you're entering the tournament, right? I'm gonna win it, you know. He's well trying to impress her. <laughs> I just realised that Eleanor and Gen Fu were paired together. I mean, another minute, please. <laughs> yep, told you. <laughs> told you you're right. Drink it all up. You'll need your strength, little boy. Oh dear. Oh right. So, oh, for a fight. Oh. But yeah. So it basically means that most of the fights in the story take place here. But, uh, yeah, so like, they paired Eleanor and uh, Genfu together in DOA 2 as default tag partners. Now you've got Genfu's uh, replacement and uh, Eleanor's rival being put together. I kicked her ass. I'll defeat anyone, motherfucker! Come on! They may think that's a pretty bad, um, uh, a, pr a pretty bad accent, mate. And it is, but to be fair, most people do a lot worse. Yes, I'm saying that I am better than 50% of the Earth's population at doing a Cockney accent. Because the thing is, I'm right. So this, this is going to be fine. Fine, Kokoro. Well, not really. You're not, you don't really challenge her. You've just been matched up against her. I, I do quite like the idea for this, this kind of setup. Like, this is what the whole story mode should have been, just, just the tournament. It's not really clear how, what the tournament rules are, are per se. It'd be interesting to try and like try and work out the uh, I, I, exactly what the matchups were, who wins what. Oh shit! Oh fuck no! Smacked. Fuck, I'm, I'm gonna die. And I feel like these two actually make a lot of sense being paired, paired together. Being like newcomers from four who are uh, young. Great match. See, like young martial artists. It just makes sense to be paired together. Yeah, as you can guess, Elliot does not win the tournament. He wins a match, though. So you lost, huh? What was, I saw an old man in the background with the, with the, with the hat. Oh no, this is the bit I was dreading. I have to fight Brad. The old man with the hat is gone. Oh shit. I best not try to go on the offensive too much. I need to play a little more defensively against Brad Wong. He's so unpredictable. Though I suppose one could say that that's all the more reason to, to go on the on the offensive, because it's, it's harder to uh, to uh, block and counter if you don't if you, you can't predict what you're going to do, which is true. Oh, that was easy. I like that thing on them stools just moved a bit. Yeah. Kirk Thornton. OMG, Gen Fu! Long Elliot, you have mastered the art of Xing Yi Chuan. You now know the correct way to use your fists. As you can guess from the music, I'm going to have to fight him now. To teach you a new form, known as Xing Yi Liu He Chuan. Your training is about to become even more rigorous. So... Ready. Really? So I think that the style I just mentioned is Genfu's own style. I don't think if I fight Genfu, Genfu, I think that's the end of Elliot's story. 
But so, so I think that's again through Stanley mentioned. He's like, I'm going to teach you my style now, which may mean that some of Genfu's moves may be going into Elliot, or alternatively, Elliot may just be inheriting Genfu's style entirely in DOA six, and soon else will get Elliot's. I'm not sure Brad even entered the tournament, to be honest. What a douche. Real man! Lei Fang! I'm gonna play Lei Fang's story in which she's going to go up against Jan Li and probably lose because she's a shit person. So, yeah, so okay, so this, this is predating that other battle. Still got. If I do have a fight, it's going to be with uh, Hitomi, though. Yeah, so uh, she and Hitomi became friends after DOA 4. And it doesn't mention DOAX. I'm not sure if DOAX is, is, is going to, DOAX 2 is even considered canon, but yeah. She wants to fight Jan Lee again. She's been traveling the world with Hitomi for two years. Why? Fuck to I now. Yeah, my favourite costume for Hitomi. Well, I prefer the black top she had under a gi in um, all the ones. I think she had a black top under a gi. Her mouth didn't even open. Tiger dies. But why are these two even here? It's so random. It's just so, so random. Oh, it's this clown. Oh, I thought he was going to fall towards his home. She's going to hit him. What a clown. Yeah, I get to do it. I get to do it. It's two on one against Zack. But he's got high heel platform shoes. Oh, his wig came off. That's awesome. You can't hit me in the face. Oh, that's a taunt. There's the wrong button, mate. I'm just trying to figure out what the what the button is for the charge move for her. What, what, what's the comp? Oh, that's the charge button. I don't know the buttons. Help me. Oh well, I've always got I've got hit on. Well, I'm guessing Zach got a bit of a power boost there. That's not an excuse for me losing. It's just I assume that's what it would what would happen to make it a bit more of a challenge. I mean, there there really be no point put having a you have two characters against Zach after you you are Zach against two characters. You know, because you have to have the uh, the whole difficulty curve and like actually progress in difficulty. Damn it! Though they have shown quite a lot of restraint in this game so far. Yeah, they've shown a lot of restraint in this game, believe it or not, by uh, not having uh, Ryu Hayabusa just storming in and going, "I'm the main character. I'm the best, mate." Because that's exactly how it sounds when he's voiced by Troy Baker. And uh, yeah, so they're not just f add him show up and go and just take all the spotlight. But I don't think he, I don't think he shows up till actually I think I'm past the halfway mark. But there's like there's like a, there's like a certain point that clearly marks like a turning point in the story. I, don't, I think he shows up just at that point. I, f I forget because again, it's been it's not played this since like I think I think the game had been out for the original game had been out a few months, but I kind of played it the first time, and that was that was like 2010. off no don't hurt me gov stop hitting me in the face oh what's with this guy boom come on Boom! In the face. 
Yeah, it still doesn't work in English. Even if you have two characters in the, it's still absolute bollocks. It makes no sense. It's homie powering up. Oh, so so this is meant to be occurring around the same time Ayane shows up, I guess, and has a fight with her Hitomi. That's such a stupid scene. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> it's just the whole scenario of this. Like, it's, We've got some these two characters randomly, randomly become friends. They ra just randomly become friends after a, after a random stupid fight in DOA4. And now they're just traveling the world together in these get-ups. Use of binoculars to spy on Jan Lee. Like, what the fuck? That was cool. I, I like the effect on that. See, see the effect on, wait, on her hand. It was well good. Wow, it kicks her ass. I think Zach's just faster or something. So he's like, haha, I counter your moves with my own. Why? This is dumb. It's incredibly dumb. You see? And then it's going to skip fall. Oh. A few days later, it's probably just going to skip forward a lot faster. <laughs> okay, it's a bit crap. The fuck is she doing? Oh, there he is. Why is Jan? Why is Jan Lee in New York? I thought it was from like Hong Kong. So why is he in New New York? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for a training partner. Random. Why does she sound like she's like five? Go a couple rounds. Bring it on. Okay. Get ready, fight. See, when, when, when this, when this that, that scene came up then though, like, when I originally saw it, um, I thought it, the whole point was going to be that Lei Fang going to be fighting Pai Chan from Virtua Fighter because they put Pai Chan in the game as, and then in Ultimate they added uh, Sarah Bryant's brother Jackie. But for some reason, they didn't bother putting Pai Chan in the story at all. Oh no, don't hit my face. But let's be fair, it would be kind of cool if um, Virtua Fighter became part of Dead or Alive canon. I don't know how that would work exactly, because that's kind of the problem with any of these tournament-based fighting games. Where it's like, okay, so if you did try and combine them into one universe, like they did with Street Fighter Cross Tekken for that, at least that like one game, it's like... But why cars from one summit not been in the other? Where did he disappear to? Well that was random and achieved nothing. Oh no, she's gonna get groped by a guy by accident again. <laughs> this is so silly, you know? Oh, it, it is the same guy. It's the same guy, same comb over and everything. Why does random guy who looks Japanese from China suddenly in New York? I thought, oh, this is the person who needs to take the piss out of the, out of, oh. So I, th I think they're supposed to be taking the piss out of a uh, DOA four. <laughs> that's that's like um, a bit in Paul's ending in Tekken five, where uh, oh, was it Law's end? I think it was Law's ending. Where he like uppercuts Paul and takes him out in one hit. <laughs> that was a funny bit. She's like, OMG, he's so sexy. And he's just like, yeah, mate, I is. Is you got a problem? And that's it. We don't even find out what happened after that. And then he told me story just skips forward to the quarterfinals. Wait, so that's called the quarterfinals begin. Oh, oh so they're all just the quarterfinals begin. Okay. I was wondering about that. I was thinking, it's a bit odd to be calling the quarterfinals begin at this point, isn't it?